Hi, it's Megan. I wanted to talk about the Makeup Forever, um, shoot, Aqua Rouge Long Lasting Lip Color. So I bought the set that Sephora had, and Sephora is the exclusive retailer for this product. Um, I bought it before Christmas when they had the six full-sized um, lip liners and the Aqua Rouge. So I did a video a couple days ago for three of the colors, the Rosewood, Light Rosewood, and the Iconic Red, and then these are hard to get off, so I couldn't do a video, I thought, with all six colors. It would just destroy my lips. So I decided to do it in two batches, and um, I'll do a separate one for the liners. The liners, they recommend to make the application easier. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And on um, this end, these are full-sized. You have, they call it a doe foot applicator, which I guess means it kind of slants, and it's soft, obviously spongy. It's a very soft formula when you put it on, and so that's where the liners come in handy. You can use the matching liner to line your lips and then fill it in with this, because otherwise, since it's so thin, even though the applicator is great and precise, it's not so simple. So I'm pretty used to products like this, so I think I did an okay job but once in a while I really mess it up and you might see that as I go from one color to the next. So this right here is number 16, it's fuchsia. And so I'm doing three right now. I'm doing number 16, which is the fuchsia, number 10, which is raspberry, and I'm doing that one last because that's the one I, I, I want to wear after this, so. Um, and then number 18, coral. And so this right here is fuchsia. It's a really amazing color. And uh, fuchsias to me sometimes are really strong and I would say that about this one. This is like, it's a strong color. It's really bright so you have to be okay with that. I did a swatch from my arm and I'll show it outside with the liners and I don't my camera doesn't let me get too close with these or it blurs but you can see as you look at it the liners are a little bit off color wise they're the same tone and they definitely work together because I've kind of played around with it but they're not the exact same shade um, which some people might like and some people might not like. The closest I think is the coral next closest would be fuchsia where this is darker than the um, than the actual pencil. With the coral, they're really, really close. I guess the, the pencil is a little bit pinker. The rest of them, I find they kind of vary. The red is also similar, but again, not the same. Uh, so I love this formula, and let me tell you why I love this formula. They say it's waterproof. I have not taken it in the pool yet, but I guess I will, and I'll put in the description what happens when I do that because I do swim sometimes I just haven't been swimming lately and I have honestly worn red lipstick into the pool to see if it survived and yeah people look at you funny but oh well right but I will try these I did sleep fall asleep when I did the other video I fell asleep in the red and it was almost perfect when I woke up so these typically last depending on what I do four five six seven eight hours and I've learned I'm a little tougher on lipsticks number one or lip colors but number two if it fades a lot and doesn't even like look perfect to me that's not lasting so where I get the fading is mostly on the inner lip right here and then if I eat something like with fat in it or whatever that'll break it down more than if you're just drinking so if you're having water or whatever it's not going to break down the formula quite as much um, and then it'll last a lot longer, but I was pretty impressed when I woke up the next morning and my lips were not perfect, but pretty close. Um, what The way this works, you put it on, it dries, and it dries down. I like doing this. So now it's dry. I put it on right before the video. It's like a soft formula, really thin, and then it dries down to kind of this matte texture. I prefer the matte texture. It does not come off. It did not come off on my pillow. And I'll link to the earlier video, which isn't quite as complete as this one, but it has the colors. And then it has this clear gloss on the other side, which is supposed to set the formula. I, let me put it on. I guess that's true. It does last a little longer. I just like the matte texture, honestly, better without the gloss. But you do totally transform the look and get no longer purely matte but kind of this shiny look when you put the gloss on so if you want it to last a little bit longer a little bit more perfectly and you like that glossy look this works perfectly what else did I want to say I'm gonna go I have to turn the camera off for each of these because it takes a little bit to get these off it's actually not that easy I have to use um, uh, an oil based makeup remover and then by the end by the third one I actually can't get the full thing off which is why I slept in the red before. Okay, so I'm going to do the coral next. One second. Okay, now I'm doing the coral. 
and my cat has joined us there she is with her tail um and uh, this is the lightest of the shades. I probably should have done this one first. The fuchsia is like a really bright, amazing color, but it's really fuchsia. It's really strong. This is kind of a softer, um, milky coral. I love this. This is one of my favorite shades. It's just, I think, gorgeous, perfect. It's a little luminous, so if you don't like kind of a bright coral, these are all a little bit bright. Uh, the ones I've done, honestly, I like the brighter colors better, so I like the iconic red. I like the coral. The fuchsia is a little bit too much for me. The one I'm going to put on last is my favorite, which is the raspberry, which I just think is like one of the most stunning cover colors ever. But I also really love this coral. It took me a couple minutes to get the other of the fuchsia off. Um, and this was a recommendation, by the way. I bought this set before Christmas. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. And then someone who watched my YouTube video saw these in stores and said, these are really amazing. You should check these out. So I decided at that point I would keep these and do the video review on them. So I love the coral. I just think it's so pretty. It's soft. It's a perfect color. If you want to see, this is it. It looks like that. And I'm going to put the gloss over it. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the way it looks. It's pretty, it's just I like it better, more matte. I don't know if you can hear the cat purring. It's still pretty, it's just a very different look. So it more is what you like as opposed to which one's better. But it does last a little bit longer with the gloss. Okay, I'm going to put my favorite one on now and you can see what you think. Okay, this is the last shade and I don't think I said the number. So this is raspberry. So raspberry is number 10. Coral is number 18, and the fuchsia is number 16. This one is my favorite shade. Raspberry varies between brands. Um, this one is more, to me, berry, less kind of a purpley berry. Sometimes raspberry can be very purplish, and I just think it's a perfect color. Um, matte, like I said, I love matte, so I like the way it looks. Don't like it quite as much with the gloss. You can see the difference, I just did the gloss. And the coral, it didn't take quite as long to get that one off, but it did take a good minute with like an oil-based makeup remover, and uh, this is what it looks like. The coral to me is the most splotchy, and it's the one that, because it's the lightest, it's the one that I would most recommend using the liner with, and the liner's the closest. So again, you can see all my swatches. So there's the coral, the fuchsia, the raspberry, the light rosewood, the rosewood, and the iconic red. You can see that. Um, and I just love this shade. This without, because I'm not going to be eating now, it's like 1 o'clock. This will last me until 6 o'clock. Perfect. Beautiful. A lot of the longer wearing lip colors that I've tried, I just don't like. They look pasty on. The colors look fake. They just look gloppy. They look heavy. They don't look natural. These, I think, um, are just very pretty colors. They are bright. They're bold. They're strong. But uh, they do stain a little bit and they're really hard to get off, but I just think they look stunning. They're, it's a great formula. It's probably among the best, if not the best, of the long wearing lip colors that I have tried, so I recommend it. I am gonna link to the video review with the other of these on YouTube, and please subscribe on YouTube if you have suggestions. This review was a suggestion, so if you have suggestions for other products, I'd love to hear it. And um, I am also writing a makeup and beauty related novel on YouTube and would love for you to read that. And I will link that in the comments and descriptions as well. Thanks. Great.